Hello there, welcome to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Today I'll be using a Pomala Shave Stick as I do a travel shave today. Uh, I did recently go on a vacation down in Florida and I wanted to do a travel shave down there and it didn't go up well. Uh, just like the video conditions weren't working out, and so I just gave it up. Uh, but I am traveling again this weekend. I went out to Wisconsin, visiting my family out there, my wife's family, and we're having a good time. And heading back in the morning, but I wanted to get a shave in before I left. So I'm gonna use first use this palm olive shade stick. Um, they don't make them anymore, but they are still available on like uh, eBay and stuff. I think I've seen them for like 15 bucks, although I haven't looked recently. Someone said on my last video when I opened this in the, the unboxing that they go for like 25 bucks a stick now. I do really like the scent. It's very, I mean, it's just a very clean, natural, soapy scent, inoffensive, a little bit sweet, but it's nice. It's a very nice clean scent. I'm gonna wipe my face real quick. So if this video goes long, I apologize now. Um, obviously I'm using a, a shave stick, so I'm gonna have to face lather. I usually I have my lather built up. Uh, in a bowl lather already, and since we're doing the, the shave stick, I'm going to do a face lather, which will actually take up some of the time. I suppose I could edit and just skip through the face lathering. Maybe I'll try and do like the speed up process, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to talk through the whole thing, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm just going to talk through the whole thing. So if you've never used a shave stick before, I mean, it's a shave soap, it's nothing cosmic. You're just trying to scrape off some of that soap using your whiskers onto your face. As far as how much you need, I don't know. I've used uh, one or two shave sticks. Maybe just one. The, I used the, the Cremo had a shave stick. I'll try and get this wet a little bit, see if that helps. I think I got a lot on this side, not as much on this side. We can always come back and get some more. We'll see how that works. So I got a wet brush already. Um, this is the brush I use for my travel shaves. It's a AP Shave Co. Uh, just a plain white handle, pretty inexpensive with a, a Maggers SHD knot. Um, I actually got this on Facebook Marketplace for a killer deal. Um, but in any case, the knot is probably the more expensive part. I think the handle costs ten or fifteen dollars. But we'll try this out. Definitely gonna need to add more water to the brush. I just... Normally, shake out most of the water out of my brush when I'm doing a bowl lather to start out with. And that works pretty well. I've heard nothing but glowing reviews of the palm olive shave stick. I've used the, the cream, which is nice, works really well. And that does work really fast. Compared to the only shave stick I've used, which is that Cremo, I like this a lot better. The Cremo, I don't know, Cremo products don't really lather. I mean, they lather, but they're not like a very dense lather. It's more, their product is more based off the slickness of the product. That did not take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. In my experience, face lathering with like an artisan soap is uh, obviously a lot different. They usually require a lot more water. That's pretty slick. 
my only concern is I'm kind of like continuing to lather is that I want to make sure I have enough lather built up and in, in, in the brush that I have enough to come back from my second and third passes. Not really a concern. All right, we'll leave it there. For the razor, I got the PAA slant. Does the glow in dark glow in the dark one? Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but the PAA slant will be in the description, obviously. I uh, the double slant. It's a pretty cool razor. I thought I'd do a slant week. I did the console on my last shave. And so I'm gonna do this one. As far as the blade goes, I have a, I went out locally and bought a pack of King C Gillettes from Walgreens. It's $5.99 for a 10 pack, which is pricey, I guess, if you consider how many you can get for a hundred on like Amazon or some of the razor sites. Um, but I mean, not bad for, I think a really good blade. Uh, they had uh, a store brand too, a Walgreens brand that was the same price for five and then slightly cheaper if you bought three of them. Um, but it was like a dollar cheaper if you bought three of the five packs. I haven't used those. I'm not sure if they're any good or not. I think I might do a slant week. Sorry about that noise. I think it's... I'm in the, the basement bathroom at my mother-in-law's house. I think part of her plumbing is behind the wall here. I did not know it was going to make that noise when I decided to do a video down here. It's a pretty easy to use razor. I've used it a few times, although not recently. Uh, being as lightweight as it is, uh, you want to make sure that you, you're careful with the pressure because it would be easy to push down and definitely cut yourself or give yourself razor burn. Uh, also it's over shaving because it's so light. It's got, I want to say a moderate amount of blade feel. Surprising amount of blade feel for like being a torqued down slant. Uh, normally with slant razors I don't expect a lot of blade feel. Maybe I'll try right in the cap a little bit more. That smoothed it out a little bit, right in the cap a little bit more, but. Because of the feel of the plastic, it's really hard to, or at least not really hard, it's a little hard to judge how much is too much and you start losing blade contact. Pretty happy with this palm olive though. The blade on this razor is like right against the guard. It does make it a little bit of a pain to rinse out. Like a huge, I mean, it still rinses over running water, it's just other razors rinse out easier or quicker. All right, be right back.
All right. See, this is a little bit thinner on this second pass. Just kind of what I was not really worried about, but I figured would happen. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. It's so light. Like the handle's hollow too. It's like super light. It's got a standard threading, so you could put a standard handle on there for one of your other razors if you wanted to. I haven't tried that. This pass is starting off a lot more smooth. I might sneeze here in a second. I can feel one coming on. Definitely a lot smoother. I do like the King's Seat Toilet blades I was talking about earlier. They can be, I mean, kind of expensive compared to, you know, how much it costs if I just leave over 100. But they're pretty widely available now. Most Walgreens, CVS, I've seen them at Target, Walmart. They're pretty widely available now. I think it's a really good thing because it makes it really easy for traveling. Since it's hard to, if you're just going with a check bag, you can't bring blades with you. At least on the state side for TSA rules. So it's nice knowing that most anywhere you go will have those blades. Some of the dollar stores or dollar generals also have some blades. I can't speak to how well they are. I assume that they're either branded personas from the US or they're the other ones I've seen are made in Germany. Uh, the ones I got from CVS once. I nicked myself a little right there. It's a little weird shading with this razor. It's by far the lightest razor I've ever used. That all plastic, I guess shape with plenty of like Bakelite handles or even like Bakelite heads that weren't this light. I mean, maybe it's the hollow handle that really kind of makes it stand out. I wonder how different it would be if he made this razor in a, another metal or any metal instead of a Let's see if I can throw some more of this soap on there. Let's try to pick some up. Putting a little water on the brush and hydrate that extra soap I put on there. Definitely want to make sure I have a nice slick base for the against the grain pass.
And not to like face lather too much right now. You get brush burn doing that. At least I do. Kind of like face lather on the third pass when your face is kind of already exfoliated from shaving. All right, last pass. Let's see how this will end. Against the grain, PA slant. A little bleeder right there. It's not very smooth on this pass. It was smoother on the... On the... Like, uh, with the green, or across the green pass. This doesn't feel, I'm almost done with this shave. Comparing it to other slants, of which I've used several, but not a bunch. I have a vintage Mercury slant. Pre-war, it's got the thin handle and not like the thick bar handle that the common uh, and current Mercury's have. And I've got a Parker semi slant. I also have a console that I just bought. The, the Parker has a little bit of blade feel. It's definitely an interesting razor that it's semi-slant. I don't think this one has as much blade feel as the Parker, but for some reason, like, got a nick there, a nick there, and the one over here, this one over there. I don't, I don't know why I'm bleeding this one. I know my last shave with this has been a while. I don't remember if I bled this much or not. I know it didn't like, I don't have like super fond memories of it. Like mostly I, the only thing I really remember is that it was okay, but not great. Uh, bleeding again, huh? I've used a few other slants that I borrowed from Scott. Christian just sent me three to try. And I got like little micro weepers everywhere. I'm just gonna go with the grain right here. They already like had a bleeder there once and I don't wanna irritate it. And I see. Well, not that great of a shave. Stand by one second. No, we're just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run this and try to like force a good shave out of it or switch them. Like, look at that. I mean, I've got. It. That's not a good shave. It just wasn't. It's not particularly close. Three passes. I didn't really do a lot of touch-ups, but I'm afraid to at this point. So, I mean, there's still some, some spots that I might get if I if I did a pickup pass, but I mean, that's pretty. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that smooth. There's a lot of roughness for it, for whatever reason. And I tried riding the cap. I tried riding the bar. For whatever reason, the across the grain was pretty smooth, but with and against were not that great. I don't know if it's a weight thing. Maybe I just gotta like figure out 
I'm gonna add a little bit more pressure. Definitely not gonna overshade. I'm just gonna let this one go. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna do a quick cold water rinse. All right, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. Cold water rinse seemed to clear up or uh, close up most of those little weepers I had. It wasn't that great of a shave, like I said, uh, right before I did the cold water rinse. Um, there's still, definitely still some some stubble left when, I, when I'm rubbing it against my neck. Uh, it might not be the razor. Alibis. This is a new soap. I haven't used this soap before, so I mean it felt slick enough, although it wasn't as thick as it could have been. Uh, but maybe that played a factor. Um, that second, third pass, it was a little bit thinner than the first pass. Uh, so that might have played a factor as well. Um, I did, you know, that face lathering, which I don't normally do. That might have played a factor in how my face is feeling right now. Maybe I got a little brush burn and that kind of led into getting more irritation. So it might not be the razor. Um, in, in the spirit of honesty there, I can't rule out those other things as being, you know, a causal factor for why the shade wasn't great. Uh, no, it's still bleeding, it's still just a little. So we're gonna get some aftershave here. I got some PAA Star Jelly. This is a uh, doppelganger, doppelganger Gray, which is a Aventus dupe or homage. Um, the reason I like the these for uh, travel, I mean, you, I guess you couldn't bring it into a check bag if you're flying on a plane that has alcohol in it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's too big, but um, it's got a screw down lid so you can if you're taking a, a carry-on, it works pretty well. All right, checked bag. First is like a, a bottle of liquid aftershave too, which has a tendency to leak. Uh, this one having that screw down lid would prevent that. I see a lot of people questioning on this, on the websites and the Facebook groups recently about, you know, what is star jelly? Is it a balm? Is it an aftershave? Is it a, a hybrid? And I, I will say, you know, everyone has their, a lot of people have very strong feelings on what it's classified as, but I'll say that Douglas, you know, PAA officially says it is an aftershave. That's what it was made for. That's the way it's marketed. And it's a star jelly aftershave. So the difference that people get hung up on is that the jelly kind of texture, which is kind of like a bomb. Um, it's just a different kind of alcohol. Instead of a, a liquid alcohol, he has it so it's more of a, a gel, which I think helps make it so it's not so messy. You're not pouring, you know, aftershave all over your counters, so between your fingers. But it's still an aftershave. It's got alcohol in it. it can't be long. It's got alcohol. Uh, it does have other stuff in there. Um, glycerin, the different types of alpha, ethanol, glycol. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff I can't pronounce. Prickly pear oil. I mean, I, I, I don't know why some people call this a bomb other than the consistency, I think that hangs them up. I don't, there's nothing really in there that qualifies or that would make me want to think of it as a bomb. Other than maybe the texture. But I like it as a really nice aftershave. This was slightly mentholated. Uh, I do have a bomb. I got this one uh, at Walgreens when I got the blades, the Duke Cannon, ice cold bomb, alcohol free. They do make travel sizes of these, so you could take it on a, a uh, a carry on if you're traveling via plane. Um, sorry, over the counter bombs. I don't know that you can beat this one in my experience. I've been using Ducan for a couple years and I really like their bomb. It's a really nice level of menthol. It has a nice scent to it, but it's very light and it doesn't stick around. It's not meant to, but it's nice when you're applying it to your face if you don't have anything else on there. And if you are applying fragrance, it doesn't stick around so it won't clash. A bit of menthol, um, shea butter, some other stuff in there. What do we got? Menthol to cool, shea butter to hydrate, bobap oil, tam tamanu oil, I don't know how to pronounce that one, tea tree leaf, uh, fragrance, obviously shea butter, glycerin, good stuff in there. It's a nice, it's a really nice bomb. A nice consistency, it's not greasy, goes on well. The menthol cooling is, is really nice, it's not like a lot of menthol. But definitely gets a nice cooling uh, sensation without going overboard. But that was a shave. Uh, it wasn't the best shave I ever had, but it was a shave. Uh, hopefully next shave will be better. I'll be back home, have my normal kit going. Uh, so I will see you then on the next shave with another slant razor. I'm going to continue this slant thing, I think. But thanks for tuning in. And in any case, I appreciate it. Have a good one.